Should we go to the attic? The spirits here the entire night have been telling us what's here and where to go. And now when people are like, you put demon in your title, just clickbait. No, demon. Can you hear me? This is the size of 50 haunted house. He knows we're in here. He can come find us. Run off the roof. Die, but survived. The thuds were coming from inside of the we're used to spirits draining our gear, not walking up and going, no, no, no. Dog tried to jump out of the second story window for no reason. Can the dog see this? Where did the footprints go? Uh, Non-stop filter gas activity. <gasps> what did I do? Fine. Game of demon and human is just demon to me now. Do you want us to call this the devil's door? Looks to me like it's moved inward an entire foot since we asked for that. This episode has the best poltergeist caliber paranormal activity we've ever captured. I know we have said that before and hopefully we'll keep saying it in the future. But what we captured here, what we're now referring to as the devil's door, coolest thing we've ever captured. 100%. Nothing that was said or done didn't serve a purpose. Precision, no. within one foot of certain things we would do and had no idea was coming up, we would get an answer before we even knew what the question was. We're gonna leave this basically uncut so you can see the entire process and for what it took for us to get to the evidence we captured right here at this door, at the top floor of an abandoned military base in the middle of nowhere. Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. Tonight is going to be a very special episode, something we haven't done on this channel in a very long time. We're on a military base. It's abandoned, <laughs> but it's a military base. <laughs> Don't yell. And behind us, and behind us, and behind us is a 95,000 square foot abandoned military hospital, okay? A lot of people died here. It's crazy what happened here. It is. Okay. Do you want to tell them some more information? Yeah, tell them some more information. <sighs> yeah, tell them some more information. A lot of people died here. Oh, but no, new information, new information, new information. Yeah. They already heard that. A lot of people came here to die. No, that's what, no one came here to die. <laughs> no one came here to die. They died here. New information. <laughs> Back in 1969, you could see up to 400 military helicopters in the sky every day, training pilots before they went to Vietnam. Yeah, that's actually, that's right. All right, and you're there. You tell, you tell me something. You tell me something. This was, get closer. Oh, closer. 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 Yeah, yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Tell them something. The, the most amount of POWs from World War II were here in Texas in the 40s. You know they weren't treated nicely. That's how World War II worked. That was in the 40s. Well, yeah. That was in the 40s. Oh, yeah. but, in the 40s. Yeah. Tell, tell them something that they couldn't find on Google. Like something only you could tell them. Oh. This is where donuts originated from. What the f***? Yeah. yeah. What the f***? Right here. We're scared. We're stalling. We're we don't want to get arrested. Okay. Should we try and figure out how to get in here? Let's just keep stalling. Okay. We should probably get out of the light. Oh, that's a good idea. We're also by the only road. Okay. Should we try and figure out how to get in here? Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll try and figure out here. We'll give you more information. ASMR ghost hunting is happening tonight. Yeah. There's a car coming. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, f grab it. Oh, sh Whose idea was it to put dowsing rods on me? Oh, I'm jingling like it's mother. Christmas. It sounds like Santa's ghost hunting with us. Stand still, they can't see us if you stand still. Yeah, it's like T-Rex. Yeah. Santa's coming, baby. I had a flashlight. <laughs> Why'd you I think I left it in the RV. <laughs> well, Evan has a light in the camera. Okay, so we're good. So if he ever leaves you, you're I gotta stop cursing. YouTube keeps demonetizing me. Yeah, we need to replace curse words with something else. Let's let's pick a curse word for tonight, but let's let them pick a curse word for the next video. Let's make like a swear jar. Okay. But if you curse, it's one minute alone where someone else picks. Shut up. Let's do that. No. Let's do that. No, that is a terrible so, idea. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. No. So if you curse, or I'm more likely than anyone else to curse. I don't want so to. So if do I fing curse, you just did it. Every single time I fing curse, you guys get to pick one place I get to go for one minute. You know what I mean? That's that'd two be, minutes. That'd be so crazy if I were to curse. That's four. That, but it hasn't started yet. Why? 
I don't know. When the f does it start? An hour. I started 15 <laughs> seconds ago. One minute in that bush, brother. <laughs> <laughs> We need Should to, we do that? Alright, what's, what's the new curse word? You pick it. Instead of the F word. What are we saying tonight? Peanut butter. Peanut butter? What? Are you f nine? <laughs> Peanut butter the police. Peanut butter the police. Oh, I got it. Wait. Wait. Yeah. We're stalling. Penis. Penis. Synep. 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 I have a lisp that's very unfair. <laughs> Can you say synep? Synep. There we go. Alright, that's so our curse I'm word. I'm gonna say Sinbad. Sinbad? Sinbad. Okay. All right, so that's the rule tonight. If we curse, it's a one minute by yourself jar. Yeah. What okay. was that? What? I just saw like a, like a, like a flashlight. You sure there's no one in there? There's no one in there. Positive? Whoa, echo. You just heard that? Wait, hold on, that echo's crazy. So if anyone else is to talk, we would hear them. What, ready? Woo! Oh. <laughs> so if anyone else talks, I wonder if that works for spirit voices too. Meow. <laughs> Wait, let me try this. <laughs> let me try this. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> One minute. Sinna. <laughs> Three-story building, two-floor basement. What? So there's one basement, and then there's a sub-basement to the basement. Yeah, so five stories high, two different hospitals. The original hospital here from World War II was like broken down, shut down. It was like not up to standard, especially for the military. Yeah. So they tore it down, 750 patients at once, rebuilt it with this after. So this is still on the same grounds where the helicopter training was, infantry training was for World War II as well. So this got abandoned for 50 years. And then the basement is where they've said that they found, not theory, they have found satanic rituals that were done there. The markings were still there, upside down crosses, giant pentagrams, like everything you could imagine was in there. Oh, perfect. And now they believe that someone has like summoned or created like a dark entity right what? down here. And we already know water is like a conduit. The whole thing is flooded. <laughs> so let's not go there. Well, that's why I was trying to go to the basement first. No, that's no. Exactly why I want to go to the basement first. No, we can start. We can start somewhere else. That's okay. okay. We're gonna have to figure out another way in. Okay. Now, is that a real animal or just another quarry? Wait, fart real quick. I got no. I was. I was gonna be a poop. You know, at least someone like catches us. We look like we're security or something. That is true, we do. Security walks up to us. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Where's your camera? YouTube video. Uh, we're gonna end it early tonight. Um, it's a little too dangerous to go inside, so we're just gonna go ahead and go to Denny's and then go home. So. Hi everyone. I just wanted to jump in real quick because I realize a lot of you feel as though I have neglected the overnight channel, which I 100% am aware of the fact that we took a decent break from posting brand new content that was for a very important reason, two actual really important reasons. I recently got engaged and I'm actually getting married in August, as well as the fact that I've been out of the country for the last six weeks. Most important thing that I think you all are going to care about is the fact that we are officially buying and opening our own haunted location. I've been working on this for nearly a year. More details on that are coming soon. We are leaving very soon to go to Japan to film what is hopefully gonna be between six 
to eight videos. The channel's not going anywhere. I'm gonna continue to give it everything I can. With all that being said, there's a lot of stress coming up in my life and there's something I've found that I believe is incredibly important that you will also care tremendously about, which brings me up to our sponsor for today's video, Rocket Money. It's the personal finance app that helps you lower your bills, cancel your subscriptions, manage your money, grow your savings. All of this can happen in the perfect place in one single app in one location. Getting you closer to your financial goals, your financial freedom, your next adventure, your next ghost hunting kit, that next location you wanna to go to. I just used it to cancel a ton of unwanted subscriptions. This sounds insane, but they can actually help you negotiate for a lower bill. For just a couple taps of a few buttons, it can help you do all that. It'll connect all of your credit cards, all of your bank accounts, like everything you absolutely use for your finances in one like very easy to use, interface where you can see like your monthly bills, you can see your budgetary, you can see how much money you spent this month compared to last month. You can even set like alerts on budget so it'll tell you like, hey, you spent too much money, like chill out. So please do yourself a favor and go get Rocket Money. Head over to rocketmoney.com slash overnight. Take care of your finances, get it all sorted out and maybe figure out those things that you're paying for that you don't use anymore because you're, you're kind of dumb sometimes like me and you forget things and you get kind of lazy and then you get really overwhelmed and then it doesn't happen. Don't do that. Don't make that noise. Don't do that. It did that. Don't do that. But hey, thanks again to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for sticking with us for this break. I'm very excited for the videos to come. And of course, I'll keep you updated on the opening of our location. All right, genuinely, I love you guys so much. I, I said the word, I said the L word and my body went, don't do that. Genuinely, I love you guys so much. And I'm very happy to have this channel and be able to like experience these things with y'all and share them with y'all. And uh, thank you all for supporting and sticking around with us um, during moments of life. Okay, enjoy this video. It's really fun. The, the ending, like the devil's door, nuts. Okay, bye. Bro, I can't see anything. Oh my, you can't see nothing. No, Dude, it is pitch black. Oh my God. I can't, I can't even figure out how to turn the SLS on. I literally can't even see it. Why do I always get headaches? the second I walk into locations. Really? I, I don't think I got one in Gettysburg or Sweet Springs, but right, like literally right now I just got one. That's like a spiritual thing. It's just on the left side. I wonder if that means anything too. Oh, If only the left side means anything. Damn, maybe I should have got that flashlight. <laughs> this is so, y'all, it is completely pitch black in here. You cannot see anything. Yeah, but you could even show by flipping here. Yeah, I just did. All right, let me open the up. For sure, there's like no homeless people and stuff like that well, in here. Well, the fact that it wasn't locked, um, and this is probably one of 80 doors. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay, 95,000 square feet, so. Yeah. So the fact that we're walking around this building that was unlocked and could potentially have people in here that want to kill us and we're walking around with no lights on, we're safe. Yeah. Wow. Oh, kitchen, right? Yeah. Yeah? Kitchen, I think. Yeah, b giant oven, stove, sinks. For all the stuff. Oh, yeah. So the SLS is just going nonstop, on and off, on and off. It's so bizarre. Look at that. This is trying to shut down. Why? I don't know. It's just. Maybe. I think it did. I think it actually just shut it down. Oh yeah, it did. What? It actually like turned it off. It's dead then? No, it didn't. It didn't like kill it. It opened up. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Right? You saw it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, it opened it. up, sli like slide down to turn off, and then it. In all the years we've been doing this, we've seen this die, like, but I've never seen it open up the. Are you sure you want to shut down menu? Hey, look, it's, it won't even turn back on. It was not, it was at 100% charge. It didn't drain it. It just actually turned it off in still full power here. What? And it will not turn back on no matter what I do. Dude, that's never happened. That's insane, dude. 
I'm like used to gear dying. Now. Yeah, like it happens. We're used to spirits draining our gear, not walking up and going, no, no, no. It's funny, this is like, I think like the leading hospital for aviation. So if there's anyone here that would be like a tech guru, it'd probably be this army hospital. So we probably started on the wrong side of the hospital. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Do you think because it's a military hospital, if there are spirits here, they still guard it? 100%. Because if you were, if you are in death as you were in life, then they all still have their military training. Mm -hmm. So what if someone just watched us? And what, they think we're a spy? I don't know. To all of the spirits and entities in here, I just want to let you know that my name is Corey, and I mean no harm at all. I'm only here to talk with you and learn about you tonight. I'm Elton. We came here because of the history surrounding this military base and this camp and this hospital. We've heard some pretty incredible stories from people who do not believe whatsoever in the paranormal about what they have seen and heard here. We know this hasn't been visited much. It's been abandoned for 50, maybe 60 years now. And we're hoping that we can communicate with you tonight. Hello, my name's Evan. I'm here to talk to you and share your stories and just make sure you're not forgotten over the years. What is this, like a cafeteria? Oh, wow, dude. What? I don't even know like where to begin here. To any spirits in this building, if you can hear us right now, can you please tell us your name or tell us where you are? Oh, dude, the elevator shaft. This is the elevator. Look at this thing. Oh, there's two elevator shafts. Oh my God, dude, look at that. I'm not playing the elevator game in there. I have to like point my camera this way so I can use the screen. Dang. I can't figure out what any of this is. Mattresses. That's a good thing or a bad thing. Look, more mattresses. What? Oh, oh, is this? Oh. oh, sinks. Yeah, dude, someone was for sure living in here. All right, we actually have to be mindful. Like, there's no way that mattress is right there on accident in probably one of the warmest rooms in the whole building. Mattresses, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Dude, this is eerie, bro. Yeah. Visual. Visual. Well, that is one of the main things that they see doctors, soldiers, and nurses, like their apparitions. I'm assuming this is all medical based on the tile. Yeah. In fact, this is all tile. It's all surgical operation. What's that? Is that stairs? Wait. That's two minutes. No, there's a flashlight. Yeah, I'm so cursed. I, no, I didn't, okay, I didn't mean to curse, curse, but did you? There it is. There it is. And it just stopped again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Yep. Please move forward. Like. Well, we were already going this way. Or stairs? Okay. I'm good. Yeah, Let, let's go. Yeah. Are you down to go up the stairs or what? Do you yeah, think? sure. There's someone outside. Can anyone, like, can anyone explain right now how the flashlight was just all the way down there? Then it was all the way down there. Adult. Adult. Let's just, let's go this way. I said keep moving forward. Maybe that's what it meant. You know? Is there anyone out Yeah. Going, What's up?
up, stairs. Go backwards then. Stay away from him. No, Ooh, dude. Dude, that got me the heart rate. My heart rate is ever, ever. Dog. I can't even speak. I want to look at him watch you later. Dog. He knows we're in here. Yeah. He can come find us or something. I literally said it could be a trap. Let's go up or down. Yeah, let's go up. 95,000 square feet. Here's a question though. Do you think there's more people that live in Our here? Our remains. Our remains. Yes, I 100% think there's more people. Dude, my heart rate is I know. high. Whoa. Whoa, look at this though. Dude. And he didn't even look real. Dog, he was like, like six foot plus six foot something wearing all black super long hair and he just goes i'm coming in and then just walks right in and that was the last word he said man that's crazy that i was like that burial match. our remains in burial yeah the fact that i was like this mattress is probably like a perfect room and then sure enough and then boom but where where is he because it's dude you don't understand he walked inside disappears. I never even saw the dog. It sounded like the dog was in front of us. There was no dog outside. There was no dog next to him. He walks inside, disappears. The dog starts barking like crazy. Sounds like the dog is five feet in front of us. Where the fuck is the dog? Three minutes. I'm sorry. I know where I'm gonna put you. <laughs> no. You don't remember He me? will touch you. You know what I'm remembering? One of the key stories about this is that the owner was here one day with his dog and the dog tried to jump out of the second story window for no reason. It like kept like trying to jump out of the window and they had to keep pulling it back. Are they still alive? Yeah. Okay. What if that guy wasn't real? Stop. Good question. Why would, I mean, it just stopped, but why would the dog still be barking for the past 10 minutes? And it's now quiet. But why would he keep barking if we walked away? What if the guy wasn't real? Stop. What if the dog isn't trying to like protect him, but protect us from going? What? Dude, dude, I don't know. Dude, what if that, like, are you saying what if he was a ghost and the dog is barking at the ghost right now and not us? Or the dog can see the ghost in us and the dog is like, don't come near him. Let's keep walking. Like the dog way. isn't protecting him, the dog's protecting us yeah. from going near. I don't like this. Dude, now more than ever do I wish you just like did that. I know. Four minutes. No. <laughs> Dude. I want to go up. If we in light, up. there is darkness. In, Say it again. In light, there is darkness. I want to go up. Because if we go up, we could see down. And if he was outside, yeah. if we see him, human. If we don't, on the zoom, on that camera, night vision, greatest paranormal evidence ever caught. Effort. Okay, let's go up. Yeah, let's go up. I don't know how to get the only stairwell was over there. Dude, you I know what's crazy? Please move forward. We couldn't figure out where to go up or forward. If we would have gone forward, we would have right ran into right into him. And it told us to. Dude, it was leading us to him. We were gonna go upstairs and we would have missed all of that. You know what I hate is that I started this by being like, the door's open, it feels like this is a trap. And then sure enough. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know how to go up or down or anything at all. I don't, I don't even know, I have no idea where we are. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait a second. Healthy.
is this not a dead end? And this is where he would have walked to. Or am I tripping? You saw him, I didn't die. You know better than I do right now. This is where the water is though. This is where we tried to come in from. Yeah, look. This is where we tried to walk in from. Bench. Bench. Yeah. And... I control this place. Is that door opening? I don't know. Ritual. Wait, that was, the door just opened, right? I'm not, I'm not yeah. insane. And they're still outside. What do we do here? The door just opened more. Evan, can you shine it that way? You heard that, right? Tragedy. What the f is going on? I wish you had that flashlight now, because we could light this whole place up, because I have no idea if they turn that corner or not. Dude, my heart rate is like... We won't harm you. Yeah, but your friends will. I know, dude. I feel like these ghosts are literally trying to talk to us now that this is all happening. Was it this way? Or is it that way? Is that way, right? Heart rate is through the roof. Yep, we're walking towards them now. Yeah, so dog was right there. This only goes up, not down. Whew! How did you see him? I don't know. I really don't. Whoa. Wow. Holy actual crap. Oh. I don't like this game. Neither do I. I don't like the game of real human or demon. I know. Dude, I'm kind of scared. This is a this is a different scared. Yeah. It feels like a trap. It literally feels like a trap. Oh my god. It hasn't said anything yet? No. Where is that coming from? Human or demon? Shut up. 1950s. Don't say that. 1950s is when this was built. Yeah. You don't think that's what they just did? It was a long time. Wave, like, we gotta show him we know he's here for us. Wave, like, we gotta show him we know he's here for us. Wait, no, I heard it there. Wait, come here, come here, come here. Play that one. You're the only light, Evan. Dude, that was center of the building. Loud. Hello? If you are a human, can you make that noise again? It just became, this literally just became human or demon. Wait, my heart rate is now higher now than it was with the dog. I, I feel my heart rate in my chest. It just did it again. You didn't hear that? Dog. No, no, the dog's over there. Oh, you're right. Yeah, sorry. We, I, I feel like we have to, we have to go that way. If it was, if it was humans, we'd hear more. Like, this really is a game show. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Right, we'll get away from your window. Yeah, let's go towards the demon person. Wait, this keep happening? We tried to go toward the dog, we went backward. Now dog is that way, so we're going that way. Stop. All 
Okay. My heart. My heart. No way. What, dude, I will bet, I, I would have bet any amount of money that the sound I heard came from in this room. Uh-huh. This is a dead end. No. Dude, I would have bet any amount of money that it came from here. What? This is a bathroom, a shower? Dude, I, I, dude, I swear. Okay, it keeps going. I swear I heard it from right here. Just... Oh, 100%. That's, that was the exact noise. 100%. Wait, that was above us now. That was above us. Let's figure out how to get upstairs. I was yelling. I was yelling. Man. Demon or demon? Look. What? There's hella voices outside, like new people. Huh? There's hella voices outside. Like new people. Like it sounds like women. Women? Yeah. It sounded like two females talking. You're funny to everyone here, man. Bertram. It is the wait, 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 there's no one. Don't I heard I heard two females talking. Alright, let's keep going this way. Dogs gonna keep going. Like it sounded like a woman was like yelling at the dog to shut up. Like she was like, hey now, come on, be quiet. But in a very high pitched female's voice. Dude, my stomach feels like it's twisted in knots. <sighs> I was wealthy. Way to brag. Wait, actually, is this a dead end? Like, fully? I, like, is it? Is the key? No, I keep going. Yeah, this way? Dude, what were those thuds? Oh. 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 Whoa. Elves hint. The thuds were coming from inside there. We're, we're not we're not mistaken, right? This is what we all think it is. Can I is it disrespectful if I hit this? No. So is this where they would burn the bodies? This is the cremation on this floor? Right next to where we heard all the thuds? Oh no, no, this isn't cremation. This is like freezer, morgue? But why would there be a lock in there like this? I don't, actually don't know what this is. That's wild, dude. Anyone else find that strange? Enid. All those studs we just heard? What do you think it is? That, it's oh, in, that's gas. Yeah. So that's it's it, an incinerator. It has to be. It's, 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 it's a human-sized incinerator. Yeah, because if it was a more, why would they build a single? They would build multiple, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That actually is an incinerator. Like a, yeah. And there's your exhaust. Yeah, and there's your gas lines in it to feed it. Holy crap. Jesus, dude. Wait, do you wanna do a session right here? Sure, I mean, everything was leading us here. Yeah. Like everything led us here to a point where we got the biggest just boom on it.
We are apprehensive. We are apprehensive. But they're hesitant to talk to us. We're never seen to catch the dog, though. Let's find out. Testing to see if we hear the dog. Maybe we should go somewhere else. That was a voice inside. Basement holds darkness. Basement holds darkness. What are the odds? What are the odds of it saying basement holds darkness? When there's documented history, the people manifesting darkness in the basement. That's right. Dude. What are the odds? I can just go, I can go in it and be really quiet. No. You want to do that? Why not? Think about how much energy it took to go from the inside of it. Like, and we're just gonna leave. That might have been like months, month worth of energy. Yeah. And we're just gonna like. Okay. You're right, dude. If dude, if you're down, I support it. I still do it. I mean, out of respect for like the energy it took to do that, you know? Dude, that's crazy. We are apprehensive. I understand that you are apprehensive, but are you willing to share a bit of information about your story? If so, what would you like to say? To the spirit that led us in here, can you tell us what your name is? Do you hear that? Do you hear that or is that just me in here? I hear someone walking. But... Hold on, no, seriously, you guys don't hear that? Tattoos. I don't hear anything. I can hear people walking right now. Evan, you don't hear that. I don't hear footsteps. I don't hear nothing. Can I hear you walking around, but only from in here? Dude, I didn't hear anything. Get the f out. I didn't hear a thing. What's a minute, but no way. There's a shapeshifter. I have no idea. Hey, no, for real. Y'all can't hear that? No. No. You're no. not sinbadding with me? No. No. Mm -hmm. Swear to God. I couldn't hear a thing. You should go in there. Uh. I need to know if I'm out of my mind. Let me just lay it. For real? No. What the f was that? What was that? Here, let's go somewhere else. No, I heard a thud. There wasn't a big go. Yeah, that way. Okay. Yeah, there was that way. I don't hear nothing, dude. Here, let's, 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 let's go with some somewhere else away from Doggy. Footsteps? No, dude, more than that. I heard like almost like borderline marching. What? Like, gong, 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 gong. You wanna know exactly what I heard? What? Well, this is what I heard. Noise. Noise? It just said noise. Yeah, I heard that, and then it would stop. Then I hear, and it would stop, and then I hear. 
one would stop and I would hear Can you hear me? Dude, that was... Can you hear me? I'm going, do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? Can you hear me? And, and then I keep freaking out, like, how do you guys not hear that? We could hear you. Holy crap, dog. Dude, I'm telling you, I could hear. We just got an EVP going, can you hear me? Super clear. What's weirder is you couldn't hear the footsteps in this. And all, only I heard it in the machine. Yeah. That is wild. Holy sh! Can you five hear minutes. me? Five minutes? Yeah. What's five minutes? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you really think about it? Like this is a massive hospital. Yeah, this place is huge. Normally it's like admin, but every single floor is medical. Dude, this is such a massive building. Do they know how many deaths happened here? Closer. <laughs> My eyes are watering. I that... think we're getting closer. <sighs> Dude, I thought a ghost would try to strangle you. Oh my god. What the Whoa, room? what's this? Stairs. Right there. You see them? Has to be. Dude, if those are stairs and this just said closer, <laughs> it really is leading us. Has to be stairs, right? There's no other option. Stairs. Oh, let's go. Up we go. Sorry. Oh, this is the top of the top. Bullet holes. Is it? Those are all bullet holes. Oh, that's good to know. Looks like there's a demon in that corner. Oh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, these are all for medical beds. Power 16. Well, we Ronald. Ronald? Is your name Ronald? We're about to leave this room unless you want us to stay in here. like a 60 foot drop. There's nothing outside. Nothing. Like not even another building. It's just 60 feet straight down to nothing. Like, say, In darkness. Is 
darkness. What if we go with the theory that it has been trying to keep us safe this whole time and it just led us the furthest possible place from the basement? <laughs> it did. Hey, I like that. Because the dog, and I was yeah. like, what if it's trying to... It's yeah. been like taking us the opposite direction this whole time. Dude, it really has been guiding us. And it's been keeping us away from what it thinks is bad. Here. That's insane. Because we, we are now the furthest possible point from the, the lowest point, which is the double basement. Wow. So we're on the opposite side of the hospital from all the way over there. That corner is where the double basement is. Wow. Are you trying to prevent us from going in the basement? Are you trying to protect us, Ronald? What year were you in? Jesus. I know you. Dude, what if the dog isn't barking at us? Is working at the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think. Let's do test. Can you kill the red light? Kill the red light. If the dog stops, it's us. Okay. Okay, red light back on. You hear that? No dog. Dog would have started barking again if it was us. What are they? Now. You think this dog is just out here chasing the spirits? Dog. Yeah. The dog wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, you're right. Person is person, the shadow is shadow, figure is figure. That's Dude, do I need theory. to strap an IR GoPro to this dog's back with a K2 on its nose? Yes. A K29? <laughs> K29? <laughs> yeah. I think you should. Hey, Ronald. If you're still in here with us, Ronald, can you touch that box that we have on the floor? I promise it won't hurt you. If there is a different spirit in here trying to communicate with us. Children's laughter chills. Children's laughter chills. If there's another spirit in here that does want to communicate with us, can you touch that box? Just let us know that there is someone in here trying to talk with us. I'm taking my time. Again. Again. See, you know what that scares me? Mm. I feel like when it keeps saying I'm taking my time, like you came up with a theory that maybe there's a spirit preventing us from the basement, but what if the spirit from the basement is kind of just dragging out this whole night so we get kind of comfortable, mm. and then right when we get to the basement, it just goes south. That way? I have a camera, I have a camera from you. Huh? I heard it behind you. I heard it behind you. I heard it behind Evan. I heard it in the hallway. Wow. Where'd you hear? That way. Which way is that way? I can't see. Uh, oh, my right. Your right? Wait, yeah. out the window? Yeah. What? What? I think Spider-Man. Joshua. Joshua. Hey, Joshua, is that you? Joshua. I'll pick up the box. Nothing here. Okay, we're about to leave this room. There's someone that wants to talk to us. You only have a few more seconds to touch that box. Or we're gonna have to leave. Can you touch it on three? One. Hierarchy. Two. Three. Hierarchy and we're in a military hospital. I know, so you wanna know what I was thinking? 
I feel like if any of these spears here, you know, are soldiers, I doubt that they're gonna walk up to a box that blinks and makes a ringing noise. Yeah, we're also not speaking to them. Yeah, exactly, like in the military, you know, there's probably a level of respect that we are obviously not showing. What is going on? You heard that thud? where to go this entire night. Here we finally leave the room, we finally get a direction again. Okay, we're gonna go forward. I always, uh, so I always wondered, like, uh, every once in a while I get these like weird stomach pains, you've gotten them before, headaches. Mm -hmm. I've been keeping track, like I will write it down in my phone, mm -hmm. because the last trip that we did was three and a half months ago, and it happened a bunch. And I decided after that, I would write down any time I got a headache or like that same kind of feeling, I never wrote it down, and now I have it again. No, that's, I was, I that's was, paranormal. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, I'm like, am I like, am I just sick and I only notice it when I go hunt? Cause like, no. But I was like, I intentionally, I was like, I will write it down if I ever get a crazy headache. Yeah. Or a weird stomach thing again. The headache went away. Wow. And then this is happening and like, wow. Yeah, it only happens ghost hunting. That means you're more open. That yeah. means that the spirits see you and are like, oh, this guy can hear me. Yeah. So they're like attacking you, not in a bad way, but they're shooting all this energy into you trying to be like, listen to me, you're open, I know you can hear me. Yeah. That's crazy. Ahead. 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 We'll keep going. Oh, I the not friendly. Are these? these are all the big doors. Whoa. These doors. And here we are again, back to the stairwell. Okay, where now, which way? But here no. it's like 95,000 square feet. I think like the hill house is like 1,600 square feet. <laughs> yeah, that makes this sense. My heart. My heart? Again, that's the second time we got my heart. This is the size of 50 haunted houses. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's what makes this fun, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, we're used to knowing where we're going and you know, knowing a lot about the spirits. But tonight, we're just really f***ing scared and walking. <laughs> Go up or I'm gonna just down, whoa, whoa. Dude. The thing is, there's not enough information for me to even know what wing was used for. Because they did every kind of surgery here. Everything from... Laugh. Fire. Hey, you smell, you smell smoke? Whoa. You smell fire? I mean, I smell fire. Fire. Oh, there was a fire. Oh, yeah, actual fire. Oh, holy crap. I didn't even see that. Which again, fire means person. Whoa, we're on the roof. No way. Okay, yeah. Don't go out there. Roof? Yeah. Help but... me. Help me? And we're walking out on the roof? I don't know about that. Dude, you could fall through. Are you on the roof? Are you trying to get us to walk onto the roof? Wait, whoa. We're like legitimately just purely on the roof. It's gotta be 60, 80 feet high to concrete. Yeah. Yeah. Military. That's what World I'm War II, prisoners of war here, Vietnam. It's kind of realistic that that could have happened. Absolutely. Okay. 
Okay. Make these cross for yes. Make them go outwards for no. Did you die on the roof? We're moving around. Okay, I'll take that as a no. Did you jump off of the roof? I'll say that counts as a yes. Did many Miracle. Miracle? Did you jump did you jump off the roof? Yes. Miracle. Did you survive jumping off of the roof? Wow. Wow. Is it a yes? Yeah, a cross for yes. What? It's like a children's sized tub right here. Very odd. That is odd. Yeah, dude, so that's what I just got. They just said that they jumped off of a roof and it was a miracle because they survived. Which I guess is realistic. That's possible. 60 to 80 feet, break your legs. Yeah. You're right here at the hospital. Cut something kind of cool. What? The footsteps. Which I don't think those would be us because that doesn't seem like. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Like, well, the black ones are here, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Where there'd be multiple sets, where this looks like one solid set. So Wait, that's solid. a full-blown... Yeah. Wait, but do you see where the giant spot leads to? Where? Up the wall. Look at the bottom of the wall. Look. Oh, boom, yeah. Boom, boom. Then the side of the wall? Look. No. Run now. Run now? Boom. Boom, wait, what? You see you, you yeah. see that too? The boom, 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 boom? Yeah, like somebody did parkour. Boom, boom. <laughs> I love that you just found the footsteps and this thing goes, run now. Wait, this looks like a foot. Yeah, that's what Look, I was trying to say. Look, those are the toes. Yeah. That, that's what I was trying to say. A barefoot? Yeah, it looks like someone... What? But also, who would walk on this barefoot? But there are no other barefoot ones. That's a boot print. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's a blazing boot. boot print. Yeah. And then, yeah, toe, 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 toe. Dude, that's like a weird looking foot, though. Well, there's a fun game again. Demon or human? <laughs> Demon or raccoon? <laughs> Demon. <laughs> well, the footprint is not a raccoon. Now this. A L D O U S. All of us. Attic harbors evil. Wait, say that again? What? Attic harbors evil. I thought we were on the top floor. Evan's face is so, I'm so excited. I thought we were at the top floor. As you open this, there's one more floor immediately. The attic harbors evil. That's pretty cool. That's insane. That's insane. And where do the footprints go up to? Up, but we didn't think there was anything higher up. Hey, dude. Should we go to the attic? Eight minutes. Stop. <laughs> Shut up. Should we go to the attic? Go up. Did that just happen? 
That's, that's the best response we've ever got. That's Pro the best response we've ever gotten. Probably ever. Probably best response we've ever gotten. Ever. Having no, we thought we were at the top floor. Adekar was evil. We saw footprints. Here we go. Should we go up? Go up. Okay, since we're giving accurate answers, if we go up, are you gonna kill us? Yeah, what happens if we go up? It's not gonna tell us. What's gonna happen if we go up? What's in the attic? I didn't think there was another floor. Neither did I. I'm getting impatient. I kind of want to go find out. Oh my god. Go up. Should we go up? Go up. That was nuts. That was nuts. Okay. Okay. We're going to go up. Did we both? Did we both? Did we? Doll's eyes follow. Doll's eyes follow. Doll's eyes follow. Are there dolls? Where you at? I mean, there was that teddy bear doll, but that was downstairs. Watch me go up and there's just a bunch of dolls up here, bro. Oh, yeah, we are on the top floor. This is the top floor. There's nothing above. This is actually the attic. Wait, stairway to hell. Dude, this is actually the attic. Corey's leaving right now. I just want to get it over with so we can leave. You've got eight minutes, right? Yeah. Stop. No, 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 no. Shouldn't have a potty mouth. You curse too. Bad boys go to bad places. You said a bad word too. You want me to go to the attic by myself? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to, if you want to. Belittle. <laughs> Belittle? Belittle. That's what I'm doing to you. You're belittling me! <laughs> Is he belittling me right now? <laughs> I'm literally doing that right now. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if you think all three of us should go up, can you say, like, three, or all of you, or all of you should go up and not make Corey go by himself. Can you say that right now? Ready? One, two, three. I just realized it's such a good nickname for me that no one's ever said. What? Helton. Helton. <laughs> I just looked at Hell and I was like, oh, it's Helton. <laughs> Helton. What? Oh. What? You wanna go? By myself? I don't know. Do you want to? Let me just, I'll go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let me just get it. Little Koi, you wanna go with it by yourself? <laughs> if I get freaked out, I'm running down. Let me get this over with. Leave it out. And you want me to selfie it? Sure. Dude, there's just a bunch of doors. Well, you have one minute in each door if there's nine. No, there's two. Women. Women. Perfect. Court runs. <laughs> Coming. Dude, what the f is- 10 minutes. No. Whoa. What did I just find? Hello? Hello? Stop! <laughs> Bro. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, y'all should come check this out. Yeah, in eight and a half minutes. Did you set a timer? No, you just keep cursing. <laughs> You're like hitting checkpoints in a video game where you can just keep adding more time. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What is it? Whoa. 
It's granddad. It's what? It's granddad? As I open this door? What the f 11 minutes. Dude, I found like a secret room. Well, you got 10 minutes and 52 seconds to explore it. <laughs> no, I don't. You never said I couldn't cuss while being alone. <laughs> That's like saying, oh, you sent me to prison. I thought I could murder now. Dude, what is this? Hello? Is there anyone in here? God, I wish I was silent. I could just crawl up the stairs. Twelve minutes. Stop! We live close. Oh, perfect. Is that your room? Okay, I'm done. No f***ing way. 13 minutes. Stop it. What do you the Evan's light's flickering. It stopped. There's a bunch of scary rooms up there and Evan's flashlight started turning off by itself. On your 13th curse word. Was it my 13th? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dang, dude, that was the fast 13 minutes. You guys want to see what it's like up here now? Or do you guys want to just go down? I'll go up. Come on. I'll go up. It, it really, it's just like a bunch of machines. 14. See first. Uh, where the magic happens. Back here. Welcome to the magic castle, baby. Just step right in. What is this? What is this actually? Exactly. It's like a bunch Boiler? of cages, bro. Boiler Whoa. system? Yeah, ain't this creepy? Huh? Ain't this creepy? Satan. Satan. We all get up in the attic, and it says Satan. My favorite color is satin. I'm sorry. Dude, the, the, I just... se the sequence of events. I know. With basically one tool. Yeah. Basically one tool the entire night. The sequence of events. Like, we have not had any reason to pull out anything else yet. No. No. Literally, the spirits here the entire night have been telling us what's here and where to go. It just sucks because we never know when we're talking to the good one or the bad one, you know? Body. Body. Look at the other room. Let's go look. It's just a bunch of machines. I feel like up here is the perfect place to hide a body. Would they put bodies up here? Uh, we are higher than the building. We are actually the absolute highest point. You know what's so funny? Mm. Stairway to hell. Hey, I know. Like actually, I mean, I know people just spray painted, but maybe not. Maybe someone actually had something happen up here that made them go, hey. I believe it. 
As soon as we open this door, oh look, it goes up even higher. The attic harbors evil. Associated. Associated. Oh, elevator system here. Wait, another door. No. A door to another door. No way. Roof? Wow. Roof. Wow. Yeah, we're high up. You can look inside the elevator shaft right here. It's just a huge drop. It's a huge drop. Yeah, right in there. Yeah, all power elevators. Don't tell. Don't tell. But when I asked you if your body was up here, you said that you were an associate and then you just told me, don't tell. Did you help bring a body up here or multiple bodies? It's just crazy how much stuff we're getting on this that adds up immediately. Yeah, yeah precision. But like, uh, yeah, I, I can't, I actually cannot get over that sequence of me being absolutely convinced that there's no other top floor, mm -hmm. finding the stairwell in that exact moment. I know. Attic harbors darkness. Creature. Creature. Is there a creature in the attic? Is there an evil entity up here that was created? This place is weird, bro. This has a very different energy than I think we're used to for ghost hunting. And maybe it's because people normally just break in and explore. Not many ghost hunters come here. So the spirits don't really know how to use tools and stuff like that, maybe. It's just like raw. Yeah. Raw, mm -hmm. pure paranormal activity. Yeah, it seems like we're not talking to a spirit and we're learning their story. It seems like we're talking to a person and they're just being like, yep, over there, pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, down there, there's a demon. Oh yeah, keep going straight. Oh yeah, turn this way. Yeah, Denise. 16, by the way. 16? Yeah. 16 what? Curse words. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you said like six and you said you were at four. You're not keeping count for me, I haven't heard you. Yeah, I was. I'm at one. That's some bullshit. <laughs> 17. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. Interesting place. Yeah. I was executed. What? I heard like... On the stairs? Yeah. Is there someone coming up the stairs? Hasn't it been ever since the EVP of You Can Hear Me that our answers started getting like way more precise? Yeah. I just have a feeling even if we set up tools up here, I don't think we're gonna get anything. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not, like I agree with you right now. It's a weird feeling. It's like sometimes I want to push really hard because I feel like we're going to get more if we do. Mm -hmm. This is one of the times where I'm like, tell me you're hitting the door. Nope. What? Well, you planted that camera right there, yeah? Yep. That's yep. how I would have seen if you would have moved. We're literally talking about how we, we wouldn't get any more in the door to go. Dude, it's... it's...
Can you open that door all the way? Can you try with all of your energy to open that door completely? It's gonna do it. It's, it's it's trying so hard. It's like, dude, I could just hear footsteps out there. Come on, we're not gonna run away. Just open that door all the way. Try again. Keep trying. Come on, you got it. Just one more try. Try to open that door all the way for us, please. If you can open the door, move it just maybe a foot in either direction. We'll know for sure that you want to talk with us. And we'll bring out our other tools in different ways. Prepare. Prepare. Can you move it more than a foot, not just a few inches? Can you jolt that door? We have 15, 20 other ways that we can try to talk to you. I definitely don't believe you're Satan. Satan would be a rip that door off by now. All right. This is like old, frail Satan. Torment of the soul. What? Torment of the soul? As you just said, I don't think you're Satan. What? Look, if you're trying to scare us, open that door, please. Dude, this is weird. And it stopped completely. It didn't do that when I came in here. It didn't do that when we all were first in here. It waited until we were discussing leaving. More, more. Come on, push it more. There's nothing above us, dude. Like we are on the top. How is that possible? We are on the top of the top. I have no idea. Every time we talk about leaving, every time we talk about like doubting it and saying you can't do anything else. Holy sh! And I came in here by myself. Fort. Fort. Do you want us to go on the roof? Am I in my mind or did something move behind him? I am not looking that Do way. Do what you just did. I like, didn't... move your move your head, whatever you just did, like when you were trying to read that thing. Did you, yeah, th this is, I didn't step or anything. It was just this, what'd you see? No, I heard, I heard, I heard this, I heard this go. What? Hey, we have a door moving, a very heavy metal door that didn't move for five minutes until we started saying we're gonna leave and doubting its strength. Yeah.
So you're weak? No. You haven't moved the door a foot yet. Worry. Worry. Not worried. You can't move the door a foot, you can't move me. Well, I should actually have moved it a foot, but it's just doing it inches at a time that I don't realize it. Because mm. I actually don't know like where it started. Should we try one last, try to open it, you know? Or should we tell him to close it? Your call. Doesn't listen to me. Can you close that door? The door that you've been opening? Can you show us that you can also close it? Just with all your strength, just slam that door shut. Weak. 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 I understand. They've been using a lot of energy. I thought you were going to understand. I understand you're weak. <laughs> no. Dude, it might have closed it a foot by now. It's, it's moving inward an inch or two each time. I believe you. And thank you for using your energy to show us that you can move that door. I understand that you're probably tired right now and need more energy, so it's okay. Man, it might have moved it a foot. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely looking at that. And from where it was. Oh, that is open, open. Yeah. Yeah, that's open a foot, without a doubt. Well, I, was, I asked it to close it a foot. And I think it's moved the door at least a foot in each time, because it keeps moving it inward and closing it little by little. And I said if it moved, like I actually, I need to check, but that looks to me like it's moved inward an entire foot since we asked for that. Well, thank you. This place is wild, bro. Let's turn the spear box real quick. Yeah, run it. Realize too, this is the one piece of the building that is directly connected to every single floor. Hmm. This is like a literal shaft that connects everything, all in one place. So what if, whoa, what if those footprints were it like climbing up? Just up and down this right here? Yeah. Since the beginning? Darkness in the basement is what everyone says. Created something. Uh, I don't know. I'm just wondering if this is like no, a, I see what you're a saying. passageway, yeah. Especially because if we take the stairs down, We'll end up in the basement. Wait, and think about it. How else was it able to keep knocking and tracing us through every floor, yet we never heard it go past us? Right. It could have just been going up, knock, yep. up through here, knock. Is and that what you were doing? It kept like following us up every floor, everywhere we went. <laughs> That's nuts. That's a wild. I mean, we don't know if spirits can just like, if it's one entity, like mm -hmm. can it just go boom, through the floor? Or does it actually need to still follow the same rules of physics that we, that we do. Yeah. Somewhat. I mean, the thing that's confusing me though is the fact that the stories are about the demon in the basement and then we just got led to the attic and our devices are saying there's a, you know, a demon in the attic. That's what I'm saying. What if it's, yeah. It's, it's a, the same? It's the same thing. If it can connect. So the one demon just runs this entire building. Created much. in the basement can make its way up. Were you created in the basement? The noise was me. You've been talking about every single thing we've heard. What? The noise was me. Okay. Oh, what? When I was in the cremation incinerator, mm -hmm. I could hear noises mm -hmm. that you couldn't. I was in the military. My phone's in airplane mode. And has been. Before I opened the app, I put it in airplane mode. Before my app could even know any data about where I am. Dog. I put it in airplane mode. Holy crap. I was in the military? Amaze. Amaze. <laughs> oh my, okay. Okay, should we just keep going? Like, yeah, what, what year? 
What year were you in the military? Can you tell us the decade? Was it the 50s, the 60s? When was it? I'm waiting for that door to get ripped um. open. Hung. Hung? H-U-N-G? Yeah. Wait, P-O-W. 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 Jumped off the roof. Survived. What if this is sur- This is survival. What if they were thrown off, like, noose around the neck? Thrown, thrown off, off. The rope broke, so he fell off the roof and survived. Is that what you're saying? I, what I'm thinking is thrown off the roof, died, but survived. Oh, God. Like, oh. survived, and now here I am, darkness, Satan, here, tormenting souls. Yeah, and that's why the spirit is evil that's here. Damn. Intense. 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 I think you put that together. Yeah. I 100% think you put that together. Like, think about it. Let's just be real. If you got captured and you were in another country and you died at their hospital, you probably wouldn't be a very friendly spirit. Mm -mm. Right? Mm -mm. Everyone would think that you're evil and negative. This is one of the weirdest nights we have ever had. I know. Like, we're, no. we're literally talking to two, two devices. No, it feels like we're, we've been talking to people the whole night, not ghost hunting. It really just feels like we've been talking to people. Incinerator and the, the door is still moving. The game of demon and human is just demon to me now. You think it's just demons? The whole time. We've never heard anyone else talk. Never seen another flashlight. Yeah. Now when I hear in these footsteps, I'm going, demon. Mm. Let people know. Let people know? Dude, that's so crazy. I thought we were having like nothing all night. I was just like, I was just fine. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I know. I was literally like, ah, let's just, we, again, I go to pull out a new tool. It's like, nah, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. You don't need it. I understand how this works. Dude, putting that all back together, hmm. the first thing that happens is it Literally, touch screen turns off the SLS. Yo, the one thing that would have been able to track it. Yeah, the one thing that, that would have actually it. been able to find it. Yo, it didn't. Show, it literally opened up my settings. Went, I'm gonna turn you off, and slid my screen down, turned it off, Nuts. and then only had to use one device the entire night. The whole night to communicate with us. I'm gonna try one thing. I'm gonna push this all the way open. Can you close the door? Cop. Really? Yeah. Yep. It probably looks like fire. I've been, I've been in a situation before with a red light at the top of Aaron the building. Explored. Should I shine this light? No, it's okay. But I've been in this exact situation. That's right. You weren't. You you were in the car that night. Mm -hmm. We had a red light in the top of the building. They called the fire department because they thought it was a fire. Because yep. yep. we were walking through the window, so it looked like it was flickering. Mm -hmm. And the entire fire. <gasps> no. As we're distracted, no way. Got it. Oh, let's we go. Got it. Money. Thank you. 
We believe you. <laughs> what? This is nuts. This is nuts. That beats Dracula's castle. Yeah, we just saw it with our own eyes. Just <laughs> and a habit. That beats Dracula's castle. <laughs> I wasn't even in frame in Dracula's castle. It was like barely out of frame. I have it. That is insane. That's Thank like a, you. That's like a 60 pound door. Yeah. Thank you. You're saying thank you to a demon. Just so you know, I just want to remind you that. Am I? Yeah, it's still a demon. It's still a demon. But we don't know if it's a demon. Definitely a demon. It's it like Satan, it... tormentor of souls. Okay. Demon, darkness in the attic. Okay, never mind. I'm going to stop. Demon. Okay. You even said it was a demon. Stop. You said we'd tell the story. And now we're definitely going to tell the story because... Holy crap, dog. <laughs> That's better than Dracula's yeah. Castle. That is. And now when people are like, you put demon in your title, it's just clickbait. No, demon. Demon yeah. actually shut the door. Yeah, demon shut the like door. Minute. Caught on camera. Holy. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I can't believe we just caught that on camera. We do. First forest and traps. What? Cursed, Cursed forest and traps. Dude, how did all of that happen with literally just, that's, that's pure poltergeist activity, non-stop poltergeist activity mm -hmm. from every single knock, every sound, every time we hit a threshold. I mean, even the interaction with the dog. I know. It makes me genuinely wonder, like, can the dog see this? 100%. I believe it can. I 100%. That dog is probably going crazy every day, barking at all the spirits here million percent but now what's what's making me wonder so was this a spirit that was here before all of this was built or is this if it's, P, if it's pow P, if it's, well if it's pow then it would have been before this building was built okay because pow would have been world war ii mm -hmm. and then this got torn down and then they rebuilt a new one in the 50s right right so yeah. So maybe it was a more of a forest back then? Cursed forest and traps? <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> we got it! Good job, Evan. That's insane, dude! Dude, I had a f***ing feeling, dog, that they could give a shit about our tools. Wow, that was another two minutes. Stop! Stop! Okay, I get it. I I'm need to so stop I'm so excited cursing. for Hill House. <laughs> oh, no! Not a Military! Military! As I just said, was this something that was stuck here? Yeah. Or POW. Yeah. Military. Military. Confirming military. Can we try one last thing? Yeah. Said We're earlier, you can hear me. Yep. Right by the door. Oh, right. Right by the door. Yep. All the all the little nuances. Stairway to hell. Satan. Tormentor of souls. Three, two, one. Where are you from? Dominic. You want us to tell your story? Do you want us to call this the devil's door? What do you want us to call you? Eleanor. Can we call you Helenor? I'm gonna ask one more time. Can you tell us where you came from? Ending. Where are you from? Dominic. What was that? Where are you from? Dominic. Where are you from? Dominic. Where are you from? Thing. What do you want us to call you? Eleanor. Can we call you Eleanor? Eleanor. What do you want us to call you? Eleanor. Can we call you Eleanor? Eleanor. What do you want us to call you? Eleanor. Can we call you Eleanor? Eleanor.
Can I call you Eleanor? Yo. Hey. Yes, human? Bro, it goes, yes, human. Yes, human? Where are you from? Demon. Can we call you Helenor? Yes, human. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for today's episode. Um, we love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. What do you want to do now? I don't know. Dude, I, what I, the don't fuck? know. I don't know. I don't what know. I don't know. Nothing on the door. I know. It's been what, 15 minutes now? Nothing, not one noise ever since they shut it for us. Oh my god. I I feel content. Yeah. I feel pretty feel pretty content. Yeah, I mean, I feel a little freaked out to be honest. Yeah, I feel like anything beyond what we've done to keep this going Grand through, to, to keep this going further, requires like rituals and things oh. of that nature to like 100%. bring it more to life. Now the thing that I don't know is like the first half of the night was there something good protecting us, or was it always this? leading us up here, leading us up here exactly? Because it actually did tell us where to go for the entire night. Isn't that nuts? Isn't that nuts? Dude, getting the attic and the go up, should we go up, go up. It's always God. the places where you expect the least. Yes. We were literally talking about how this is so big that we can't even figure out what to do. And yet we didn't have to figure anything out. It did it all for us. With pretty much one device. Pretty much one device the entire night and we just got some of the best evidence we've ever got. Now I have nine, nine cameras on it. We were executed. We were executed. POWs. Yeah. Plural as well. We. Yeah. So they were Dude, hung. every single time we try and go like, all right, we're going to be done here. More. We get more information. It's almost as if like every time we threaten to leave, they're like, all right, fine, fine, I'll talk to you. I know. I know. It's, it's not, like it's not an interrogation. Want us to stay. Yeah, it's not an interrogation, by the way. We're not here to interrogate you. No. This isn't a tactic. We're actually like going to leave. We're not like saying it. Like, mm -hmm. We just wanted to come and talk. Apprehensive from the beginning. I'm, I'm apprehensive, I'm apprehensive. Insane, dude. Wow, that was every single time that I thought we were gonna end. I was just like, ah, just keep going. Like We would literally be about to leave. Yeah. Like about to be like, ah, let's go to the basement five. I don't even know what happened because at one point we even said, let's just go to the basement and do 20 minutes. And somehow we, ne we, we ended, ended up, up here. And I don't even remember what led to what led to what's led to what yeah. to, you know, like. I don't know how that all happened. Oh, because we came to this stairwell oh, that's to right. go to the basement. Oh, but then we saw it goes higher. And then it says attic harbors darkness. As we realized, there was one more floor. You know, I thought the SLS was just like, eh, malfunction. And now I'm like, nah. Brilliantly intentional. For and giggles. Oh my god! No way, dude! No. no way, dude! It turned back on! It turned on! What? I'm for and giggles, I've seen it turn back on! Dude, that's nuts. You know what this is? You turned it off earlier. Why did you let me turn it back on? It's for a reason. Wow. What's the battery say? Still like 25, 30, but it's been sitting out in the cold, so it's naturally gonna drain some. But yeah, it's still at 20, 30%, something yep. like that. Come on, you're letting me turn you back on for a reason. That would've been icing on the cake of all of a sudden just standing right in front of us. I know. Yeah, I'll go this way and see. Whoa. What? I had it for a second. No. Yeah. A right. millisecond, a millisecond, I saw it. It was up on the ceiling. Wow. You guys can head out. Okay. I'm just gonna, I just wanna like look down this way and see. No way. Boom. What? Turned it off. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, it's not a battery issue, it's not a cable issue. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Can you wave goodbye?
Can you show up for one second and say goodbye? What's your name? <laughs> My name's Elton. Nah. Would have been too cool. Crazy, it's working fine now. <laughs> it's still on, no issues.